All right. Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Thank you for joining on this live stream. So this is uh, Sunday, the 13th of March. So I will do a weekly forecast. So I will cover the Forex pairs in gold, WTI, and indices, and then the news for this week. So that we can capture the bigger picture of the market and uh, see which one is trending and which one has the good setup to trade for this week. So uh, let's get started right away. So let me switch the screen. Okay, and uh, as a quick disclaimer, as always, uh, this is uh, basically all based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is a live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. And also, um, I only do my webpage, YouTube, and Twitter, and all others are fake. So, no Telegram, no Instagram, and no Facebook under my name. And also, uh, if you get any direct messages, then uh, they are all fake. So, please be careful, because there are so many spammers out there in the world. Okay, so let me say hi to everyone quickly and start the session right now. So let's see, Carbon, thank you for joining. And uh, Samson, Lukman, and uh, Suleiman, good to see you. And Benedict, and Marwan, and Alex, Ivan, Sam, and uh, Augustine, and Marcus, Vipin, Anis, and Chike, Akbar, and Homan. Thank you for joining, everyone. Great to see you. Um, I see Samson says, uh, I'm not sure about the momentum divergence. I don't really use that, so I can't make any comments about that one. And also, uh, yes, I will have a look at uh, USDC run. Yes, I will do it uh, on the forecast today. So first, I will cover the pairs on my watch list, which are here, which are here, Euro USD, all the way down to Swiss franc JPY. I cover uh, these pairs first. Sorry, hold on. let me fit this to page. Okay, now you can see all the pairs and also the time frames. So this is a uh, weekend, so weekly candles are closed. So that's why usually on the weekends, I focus on the weekly time frame. So today, I will focus on the weekly and also the daily time frame. So I split the window into two. On the left, I put the weekly. On the right, I put the daily chart. So. I will start from the Euro USD. Okay. All right. So, um, as per weekly chart on Euro USD, this is bearish because uh, Kumo single span B down, A down, and Kijun Sen down, Tenkan, uh, Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou span below candles. So, at a glance, this is bearish. So, uh, the market still be downtrending potentially. In terms of the daily time frame, um, Kijun Sen flat, so it may be traced backwards to Kijun Sen. But um, last Thursday, last uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the market actually retraced all the way back to Kijun Sen. And uh, Thursday, Friday, it went bearish. So since weekly chart is bearish, and uh, since we see uh, the market is bearish uh, from Thursday and Friday, so. I expect this week will be bearish on Euro USD. Uh, Chikou span still below the candles and Senko span A still pointing downwards. So to me, this is bearish. So I will be looking for the sell chance um, this week on Euro USD. So I will mark this one purple because this is downtrending in the weekly time frame. So like this, I will mark the pairs with, uh, when it's when it's trending trending. So that you know which one is trending and which one's ranging at a glance by the end of the live today. So next, let me cover the Euro AUD. Euro AUD is also bearish in the weekly chart. Uh, it's bearish because the Kumo down, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. But one thing is that the Kumo is too thin. And whenever you see the thin Kumo, the market most likely retraces back to Junsen on the weekly chart. So this is a bit overshooting. So um, this week could be retracement. And also looking at the daily chart, the market after the pin bar, um, it went up and a little pullback here. 
but I think that will be some pushback and market reaches to the daily Kijun Sen is my view. So for me, uh, if, if I see uptrend in the 4 hour chart, then I will take it. Otherwise, I will just leave the chart because that might be ranging still. I say that the market may retrace backwards to Kijun Sen, but uh, it may not happen um, this week. This week it might be range and gradually it may move bullish to Kijun Sen too. And I'm not sure how many days or how many uh, weeks it takes for the market to retrace back to Kijun Sen. So um, I guess for Euro AUD for now, I will stay away. The next one is uh, Euro Pound. Euro Pound on the weekly has been stably downtrending. It's got the um, Kumo down, Tenkospan B down, A down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. So this is bearish. The market is resisted by the Kijun Sen, and this is bearish. So it touched the Kijun Sen, and on the daily chart, on, that was on Thursday, that touched the Kijun Sen on the weekly, and Friday was bearish. So I think this will be bearish uh, this week, because weekly chart is also bearish. So I will put the purple, because this one is also bearish on the weekly chart. So let's move on to Euro JPY. Euro JPY is also bearish in weekly Kumo down. <clears throat> Sorry, Kumo is down. Jun Sen Tenkan Sen down. But Chikou Span is very close to candles. Uh, so after retracement, Chikou Span is now very close to candles. And Kumo is too thin, so the market is retracing backwards. And the close price on the weekly exactly was into Kumo now. The weekly chart technically is ranging now. So it may retrace backwards all the way single span B on the weekly and with that in mind if you look at the daily chart Kumo single span A is down and Kumo itself is bearish but Tenkan Kijun Sen is flat and uh, Chikou span below candles but since uh, Kijun Sen flat Kumo flat and the daily chart and also on the weekly the market is actually going into Kumo uh, this uptrend may be continuous it may go up to the Kumo in the daily chart too so to be safer, I will stay away on Euro JPY unless I see the uh, next new trend this week. The so next one is Euro CAD. All right, Euro CAD is also bearish because we see all the Euro pairs are basically all the Euro currency itself is bearish uh, last week. So we see on Euro CAD also Kumo down and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down and Chikou Span below candles on the weekly. And daily chart, uh, the market was resisted by the Kijun Sen, and now it's going down. So, and it's about to break the support. So to me, Euro's cat is bearish on the weekly. So I will monitor this one and look for the sell chance continuously. And Euro Sisran is also bearish. We see the Kumo. On the weekly, Kumo is bearish. Kijun Sen is bearish, Tenkan Sen bearish too and Chikou Span below candles. And Kumo thickness is okay in this case. Kumo is not too thin. Unlike the other pair like Euro JPY, <clears throat> this was too thin Kumo. And Euro AUD, it was also very thin Kumo like this. After the twist, this was very thin. But the Euro Swiss run, if you look at the Kumo, it has been you know, gaining thickness. Um, for the last two weeks, it was very thin because of this huge spike. But uh, itself is still bearish, so I will continuously look for a selling edge on Euro Swiss run. In the daily chart, after the Y wave breakout, the market was resisted by the Kijun Sen and it looks like it's going down. So I think this downtrend will be continuous and I will continuously look for the sell chance on this one. So that was Euro base pairs. And then now let me move on to the USD base pairs. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining everyone. I do see many comments now, many messages here. Uh, Henry, David, Mo, uh, Montasir, and Tran, Sai, Eugene, and Blue, Resonant, and Aung, uh, Motosi, and Ken, TikTok, Muhammad, uh, Trader, Mahardika, and Ekhargal, and Akiman, and Mahesh, Levinas, and Saman. Thank you for joining everybody. Great to see you here, as always. So, yes, egg here, egg har gal. I will cover oil also. Yes, I will cover that soon. After I cover 
uh, Forex and Gold, I will cover WTI. So please bear with me for the next uh, couple of minutes. Okay, so now let's move on to UC pairs. So UCJPY, what we see here is strongly bullish on both the weekly and the daily chart. First, um, starting from the weekly analysis, the, uh, the Kuma has been very thick and strong. And we see a single span B up, A up, and Kijun Sen up, and Tenkan Sen is also bullish, and Chikou span above candles. So this is bullish right now. The market will be bullish continuously. And uh, in terms of the daily chart, however, since we see a big you know, spike last Friday, um, Kumo became very thin in the daily chart. So in the daily chart basis, I expect the market retraces, consolidate, and go, goes up this way. But on the weekly chart, I think this uptrend will be continuous and it goes up continuously this way. So I will be looking for the buy chance on USDJPY also uh, because this is bullish in the weekly. But uh, just wait, watch out for the retracement. I will be watching out for the retracement and uh, look for the buying edge. So that will be the USDJPY. And then UCCAD. UCCAD has been ranging now on the weekly chart. This is exactly ranging and we see uh, many wicks pointing up and downwards. And this is very choppy and very tricky market to be in. Kumo flat, Kijunsen flat, Chikospan touching, so no trend. And also, um, as per the daily chart, this is also ranging too. Kumo flat, Kijunsen flat, Chikospan touching. So at this moment, we don't see any trends on both time frames. So to be honest, I'm not sure which way it's going. But one thing that I just noticed is that this is ascending P wave now. Because um, there was a support, a trend line support, and highs at the same level. So this is called ascending P wave. So the market may retrace backwards a little bit and goes bullish like this. Or it may, be, it may break the resistance and keeps going up this way. Just like you saw it on the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the USDJPY. I was expecting a P wave breakout bullish too. Let me go back to USDJPY. And I was, if you can remember, um, I was talking about this uh, ascending P wave structure. Like uh, um, higher lows and highs, the same price level. And this was a beautiful ascending P wave and I was expecting it breaks bullish. And um, same thing is happening on looks like a USCCAD. This is also ascending P wave. In the daily chart, it will be looking like this. So here is the resistance level around uh, 1.293 level. And then the market has been supported by this ascending trend line. So um, yeah, sooner or later, I think the market breaks bullish is my view. But at this moment, it's range, so it may retrace backwards to the support of the P wave. So at this moment, I won't trade right now. But that will be for the uh, bigger picture overview. So now let me go down to the USCC run. Yeah, so USCC run has been ranging now. So Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat completely, and Chikou Span still with the candle. Last week was a strong bullish candle, but uh, overall it's still ranging, just ups and downs, so no trend. And um, we might see bearish, maybe, uh, because maybe this is range. Since Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the market may retrace back to Kumo or Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. So unless the market breaks bullish, breaks the resistance, um, I think the market retraced backwards, so we better wait for the breakout if you want to buy this pair. But um, if you look at also the daily time frame, you see so many spikes up and downwards and so many like wicks along the way on the daily chart. So uh, this is a very tricky market to be in. So uh, most likely I will stay away from this one. The next one is pound pairs, pound USD. Pound US, USD is moving now. It's bearish on the weekly chart. Uh, Kumo is bearish. 
Uh, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both bearish, and Chikou Span below candles. And um, last week it broke the support level on the weekly, and now it's going down. And in terms of the daily chart, this one is also bearish because um, Kumo down, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. And I see a nice consecutive bearish in the waves. So I think this downtrend will be persistent this week. So pound dollar, I will be looking for the sell chance from Monday. Next one is pound JPY. Pound JPY has been ranging, and I think this is a bit difficult to trade um, this week. This is called a box range because highs and lows at the same price levels, and it has been ranging the whole time. On the weekly chart, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching, so this is completely ranging and we cannot really tell which way it's going this week. It may be bullish or bearish, we're not sure. Uh, one thing is that the market is supported by the Kumo and last week it was bullish, so it may be continuously bullish, but uh, we are not sure. I mean, uh, it may be bearish and it might test the Kumo again this week, so we can't really tell which way it's going. But one thing on the daily chart is that there was a nice uh, neckline break of the double top. So here is a double top. And neckline was 152.89 and it broke bearish uh, last week. And uh, it's testing right here. So if it doesn't break bullish, then um, I think downtrend will be continuous and sell will be a right call as an intraday. But in the long term, uh, we're not so sure which way it's going. Pound JPY, I guess I will just skip this one. So the next one is Pound CAD. Okay, so Pound CAD is downtrending now nicely. So in the weekly chart, Kumo is bearish, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. But uh, just like I mentioned previously, you have to look at the Kumo shape, and right now Kumo is very thin, very small in the weekly, and also very thin in the daily chart. So the market most likely will retrace backwards on Monday, Tuesday, or maybe until Wednesday, it may retrace backwards the range. So um, yeah, just be careful. Uh, and also, um, the market is near the previous support on the weekly. The support level was on um hold on the support level was on 1.6563 and we had under support here from the 2020 march so from that reason also it may bounce and goes up retrace back to the daily kijun sen or tenkan sen so uh we better wait for the continuous downtrend stable downtrend the pound cat is downtrending so I will mark this one uh, just in case, but this will be my low priority because Kumos are thin in both time frames. So now next one is Pound AUD. Pound AUD on the weekly chart has been ranging now. The Kumo flat Kijun Sen down, Chikou Span below candles, and uh, the market broke the previous support level, which was 1.8107 level. Uh, but as per weekly chart, uh, Ichimoku lines, it's flat. But the one thing was that the, this was the breakout of the neckline of double top on the weekly. So there was a double top, and neckline has been broken bearish. So from here, um, in the long term, I think that will be, that will be bearish, but um, the market may test the previous support and it goes bearish too. So to be safer, you want to wait for the retest of the support and uh, take the bearish trend to sell. And with that in mind, if you look at the daily time frame, now the Kijun Sen is flat. So Kijun Sen is now flat. So um, it may retrace back to Kijun Sen or the support level, the previous support, and continuously go downtrend. The pound AUD, since daily chart might retrace, uh, sometime uh, within this week, I don't mark this one. And the next one is Pound Sisran. Pound Sisran has been ranging too, 
Akuma flat, Kijun Sen flat on the weekly, and it was supported by this uh, previous support from um, 2021 December, and it may bounce and goes up. In the daily chart, uh, Kijun Sen flat also, so it may be supported at this support level and goes up to Kijun Sen this week. So for me, unless the market breaks support, um, I won't trade this one. But that will be for the long term. If the market breaks support level on the weekly, then uh, I will look, look for the sell chance. Okay, that covers the pound pairs. So, so far, I have covered the euro and USD and pound base pairs. And now I will cover AUD and CAD base pairs. And then I will move on to gold and WTI and then indices. So, but uh, yeah, let me see. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you here again. Thank you for joining. I do see many comments now. So, uh, glad, to, glad to hear you here. Okay. Um, Kar um, Karuna and uh, let's see. Atul, I will cover Nifty chart. Yes, I will cover Nifty when I cover the indices. So, please bear with me. And JJ, I will cover Dow Jones and NASDAQ also in the indexes. So, yes, please bear with me also. All right, so now let me cover AUD-USD next. All right, so AUD-USD weekly chart is now ranging. Let's hold on, let me squeeze a little bit more. So here's the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, the market broke the Kijun Sen and now it's retracing back to Kumo. So when I see this situation at a glance, I stay away because this is range. Uh, it may retrace back to Kumo or it may be resisted and go down and we are not sure which way it's going and in the daily chart this was also retracing back to Kijun Sen so uh, in the very short term that will be sell but in the long term I'm not sure which way it's going most likely um, this week I will stay away from this one and the next one is AUDCAD yeah so AUDCAD has been resisted at the resistance level on the weekly chart from the 20, 21 September and July, which was at 0 0.3, sorry, 0 0.9376 level. And uh, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is range. The market retraced backwards all the way to Kumo now, and this is called a Y wave and Ichimoku, expanding higher high and lower low. This is Y wave. And when I see Y wave, basically I stay away. Uh, in the daily chart, this one's also tricky. The market was strongly bullish, but last Friday it went all the way down. And it looks like it's reaching back to Kijun Sen. So most likely I stay away from this one. Yeah, and next one is AUD JPY. AUD JPY is very interesting, and I will be looking for the buy chance. Um, because the daily chart is bullish. If you look at the daily chart, Kumo up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above candles. But on the weekly chart, there were three resistances. So, but I expect the market breaks, the weekly resistance bullish. And the reasons are one is, again, the daily chart is bullish. So, as long as daily chart bullish, I expect the market breaks the resistance and continues to be bullish and that's why I will be looking for the buy chance from Monday and also on the, on the weekly chart if you look at the bigger picture that was a double bottom or inverse head and shoulders and the market is reaching back to the neckline and you see a little also minor um, double bottom here there was a minor double bottom and neckline has been broken bullish also. So I can see that uh, there are more buyers and sellers in this particular situation. And that's also the reason why I expect the market breaks the resistance. So I will be looking for the buy chance from Monday. So I will mark this one, AUDJPY. Mm -hmm. So the next one is AUD run. So AUD run is now um, retracing back to Kumo now on the weekly chart and now it's ranging on the weekly. In the daily chart, this is bullish because the Kijun Sen is flat.
flat but Tenkan Sen is bullish. And also the Kumon single span A is bullish and Chikou span above candles. So uh, if I start to see Kijun Sen bullish this week, then I will look for the buy chance and follow the daily time frame. But in terms of the weekly chart in the long term, uh, we're not sure which way it's going. So all this is run, I will mark this one also. And then the next one is CADJPY. CADJPY is about to break the P wave bullish on the on the weekly chart. And I'm still waiting for that to happen. I thought this is gonna happen this week, or sorry, last week, because I have seen the JPY has been very weak last week. I thought the P wave will be broken bullish, but looks like it hasn't broken yet. Uh, it's almost breaking, but uh, I want to see more clear breakout. But uh, still, that Kijun Sen is below Tenkan Sen, so I can still see the potential breakout bullish. And also, in the daily chart, the market is also resisted at the previous resistance level from January. So basically, we want to wait for the breakout of that resistance and then expect the market goes bullish afterwards. But um, this may happen uh, because uh, weekly chart is still showing bullish. So I will mark this one also, CAD JPY, to buy. And then um, CAD CISFRAN. Okay, so CAD CISFRAN is now ranging. Kumo flat and um, Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou span touching, so no direction. In the daily chart also, no direction. This is very spiky like a needle and a uh, very tricky market so I will simply stay away and last one is Swiss franc JPY Swiss franc JPY on the weekly chart looks to be bullish now because it has been supported by the trend line and uh, since Kumo is flat Kijun Sen flat it may be traced back to Kijun Sen but uh, as long as market is above the trend line I think that will be bullish and Chikou span above candle still, that's bullish. In the daily chart, it's range, so um, no direction. But uh, since this is Swiss run, I think the market will be very spiky. And uh, also, uh, spread will be very wide on the lower time frames. So most likely, I stay away because I find uh, more, you know, I find better trending pairs on other markets. So that covers the whole forex market so now let me cover the gold and wti so here is gold xaususd so i will also look at the weekly and daily situation on the weekly chart um, the market went all the way up to the previous resistance from 2020 july but i uh, has been resisted and retraced backwards very heavily last friday and thursday so, and that is because, you know, I was actually explaining that, this one because, uh, you know, he, uh, Kumo was too thin. So, uh, please remember that whenever you see the thin Kumo, the market most likely will retrace backwards at the previous resistance. And here too, this was a, you know, a nice example for that. And also, if you look at the Kumo and in the daily chart, this is also very tiny. And uh, Kijun Sen is up, but the market is retracing backwards. So I think um, this week uh, mar the market could be range or gradually retracing back to Kijun Sen. So most likely I won't be looking for the buying edge this week. Most likely I stay away. And the next one is WTI. WTI crude oil is also retraced backwards heavily. Uh, last uh, Wednesday, Thursday. And then that is because also the Kumo was very thin. So we saw some retracement. And then in the daily chart, the market is actually once when below the Kijun Sen and now it's on the Kijun Sen. So uh, to be able to buy WTI, we have to see that the market is clearly above the Kijun Sen and Kijun Sen uh, needs to be pointing upwards and Kumo should be continuously bullish and Chikou span continuously should be above candles. 
As long as it's the case, we can still look for the buy chance. But once the market goes below the Kijun Sen, then it may trace back to Kumo or it may be range afterwards. So uh, we better not to trade. And most likely retracement range might happen this week because last week we saw a big spikes. So usually after we see big, we see big spikes, afterwards market tends to be range. So uh, I think WTI could be ranging this week. So uh, no trade for myself. Okay, so now let me cover the index. So first I will cover Nikkei and I will only pick the weekly chart for the index. So Nikkei has been dropping down so heavily after this P wave breakout. Now Kumo breakout happened three weeks back and it also broke the previous, I think it was a uh, resistance. Yeah, so now this is going bearish. So now the market is dropping down to the previous resistance level, which was over here, 2-4, two, two, um, 4 to 4 level, and this is downtrending. So I think this downtrend will be continuous. So uh, obviously, this is not a good time to buy. And the next one is Dow Jones. Uh, Dow Jones has been uh, retracing backwards and now this is going into Kumo. And as I mentioned last week, this is Y wave. So whenever you see Y wave, we better stay away. Um, it might be supported by the Y wave support and it might turn bullish. But um, I don't see any sign of bullishness right now. Uh, this downtrend will be continuous on this reverse in the wave. So uh, yeah, just watch out for the Kumo breakout. And next one is uh, yeah, um, Nasdaq. Nasdaq is also bearish. This is more bearish than Dow Jones because it's about to break the Kumo. And once it breaks Kumo, then um, the downtrend might be continuous. So that will be the main topic for this week. And obviously, this is not a good timing to buy yet. This is continuously downtrend in my eyes. And the next one is uh, S&P. So S&P is also bearish, and it broke the previous support of uh, 4271.3 level, and it's going into Kumo. And we already saw there was a Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross, and Chikospan breakout. And the topic will be whether the market breaks Kumo or not on the weekly chart. And this is continuously bearish, and this is obviously not a good time to buy. So we have to be patient in these indexes. Okay, so next one is Eurostox. Eurostox also broke the Kumo, and now it's going into Kumo now. But um, I think it's about to break Kumo. Uh, this week, it may happen. And once Kumo breakout happens, then uh, the downtrend may be continuous. So, uh, yeah, obviously, this is not a good time to buy. And FTSE 100 is also um, retracing. But uh, this one is better than Euro stocks because it was still supported by the Senko Span A. So, um, there is still chance that the market goes up and goes up above Kijun Sen. But uh, since this is still ranging, um, no trade from, from me, no trade, um, the market may still go into Kumo. So, yeah, no direction on uh, FTSE 100 either. And Kakrantz, Kakrantz is also bearish last week and it's about to break Kumo. So not a good time to buy. And um, DAX index also broke the Kumo. And this is strongly bearish. But the one thing is that uh, this the Kumo is very thin. So when you, think, when you see the thin Kumo, uh, it may be traced backwards. And in fact, last week was bullish. And this bullish trend might be continuous. So in the short term, it may be bullish until the market reaches back to Kijun Sen. And then it may be resisted by the Kijun Sen and turns bearish because the market is already below Kumo. 
So to me, this is bearish in the long term, but in short term, this is retracing backwards because of the Thinkumo. But um, this is not a good timing to buy. Yeah, and the next one is Nifty chart. The Nifty chart is uh, now going into Kumo, and uh, there was a double top, a neckline, 16, 415, has been broken bearish uh, two weeks back. And last week was bullish, but since this is still resisted by the descending trend line, uh, it may be resisted, and uh, this week might be bearish. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both pointing bearish, and Chikou Span breakout already happened, so um, the market may go in into Kumo, and we might still see a bearish trend. So still, this is not a good time to buy. Uh, if you want to buy, we have to wait for a retest of the previous support, retest the support or the single span A, and if you start to see the next bullish end wave, that will be a good time to buy on the weekly. But uh, un unless it happens, that will be downtrend still, continuously. So the next one is uh, AU200. Uh, Australia index is also ranging now. The market is within the Kumo. After the P wave break, um, it went bearish and it tested and looks like this is bearish. So, um, yeah, this is also not a good timing to buy. So it looks like all the indices are now struggling due to what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. And uh, obviously, this is not a good timing to buy or sell either. Hansen has been bearish also. This one is also bearish, strongly bearish. And uh, yeah, I think the market is reaching to the previous support, which was all the way in the past 2016, the market is dropping down all the way to that level now. So that covers the index. So let me cover the news and then come back to your comments. So now let me switch to the news website. So just hold on. Okay. So let me set this calendar to this week okay and click apply and i got this news website so march 14th tomorrow we have no big news and uh tuesday 15th we have a couple of news here one is the uh rba meeting minutes so aud can be affected by this and then uh in terms of other news uh there is a uh, um climate um, change in uk so helm pairs can be affected by this and that's it on wednesday 16th we have uh, retail sales uh, in the us and also cpi consumer price index report in canada so us in canada canadian dollars can be affected on wednesday and then also of course fomc will be there so policy meeting fomc this will be a big topic next wednesday in the us and on uh, Thursday, we have uh, employment, rate, employment change in uh, Australia and also unemployment rate in Australia. So you have to be careful for that one. And then uh, also interest rate decision in the UK and policy, monetary policy in the UK too. And Friday, we have... Uh, policy meeting and rate decision in Japan and then uh, also retail sales in Canada and that's it so next week the biggest biggest news for next week is the FOMC in the US so just be careful for this one okay so now let me cover some comments until the end of the live so, uh, but yeah, once again, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you here. Okay, yes, I have already covered the pound JPY, but the pound JPY is ranging now. Uh, that's why I didn't mark this one. Because pound JPY is here, and it's ranging on the weekly, 
and ranging on the daily chart. So in the long term, we can't tell which way it's going. So, um, so this week, once again, if you are joining newly here, uh, if you missed the first part of the live, uh, I will be watching the Euro USD, which is bearish on the, on the weekly chart. It's bearish. And then uh, on the Euro Pound, it's also bearish on the weekly. So I continuously look for the sell chance. And then Euro CAD is also bearish. And the Euro CIS run is also bearish. And USDJPY is bullish right now. And Pound USD is bearish. And Pound CAD is also bearish. And AUDJPY is about to break resistance. And in the daily chart, it's bullish, so I will be looking for the buy chance and expect, expect a break of the resistance. And ADC trend is also bullish in the daily chart. And CAD JPY is also about to break resistance. I'm keeping my eye on this one too. Yeah, so that's my overview on the Forex pairs uh, this week. And besides that, um, let me see. Uh, okay. Alfonso says, AUD NZD, please. All right, let me check the AUD NZD. I don't usually trade the NZD pairs because it's a spiky and the spread is very high. So I don't usually watch the NZD pairs, but um, just for your reference, on the weekly chart, it broke the Kumo. And looks like this turning bullish now. And uh, but still, Kumo's flat, Kijunsen flat. So there might be some retracement along the way. And in the daily chart, this is ranging now. This is Y wave structure. So um, I would wait for the breakout of the resistance, which is 1.0796. And when it does, I look for the buy chance. Otherwise, I would stay away in this case. Yeah, a trader says, what does a purple flag mean in front of the certain pairs in your Forex list? Yeah, so these are the trending pairs on my watch list. So I usually mark, the, mark like this on Sunday and so that I know which one to focus on Monday when the market opens. So these are the trending pairs or the or uh, my favorite pairs for the coming week. <sighs> okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So I have covered the uh, the AUD NDD. Yeah. So Nifty chart is now ranging. Yeah, it's ranging. So no trade chance right now. Still, it might be bearish in the Nifty chart. Yeah, so let's see what else we can find here. Uh, let's see. Orvin says, are you holding any positions right now? Uh, no, I don't. I have no positions over the weekend. I was about to buy JPY, USC JPY last Friday, but uh, and I was watching the market. I was looking for the buying chance, but while I'm waiting for the buying chance, uh, I get the phone call from the bank and it lasted more than 30 minutes and by the time I, I hung, hung up the phone, the market went upwards and I missed a chance. So, but still, this is bullish and I will be continuously looking for the buy chance. Okay, Pratish says Bitcoin. Alright, so let me check the Bitcoin. And personally, I don't trade Bitcoin. I don't trade any cryptos. But uh, just for your information, I can have a look. So here is a Bitcoin on the weekly chart. The market is still struggling on the single span, uh, single span uh, B level. Still ranging now. Uh, okay, Chikou span is now below candles. So this is a bit bearish. And there was a head and shoulders. And neckline has been broken bearish. And there was also a retest of the neckline. So, um, yeah, this might be bearish 
it might go down from here. This is the weekly analysis. In terms of the daily chart, like I put on these arrows, this is ascending P wave still. So I can see the resistances are at the same level from the previous supports and the high the, the lows are higher and this is ascending P wave. So in the daily basis, this is bullish and it may break bullish. But uh, since weekly chart shows uh, uh, weekly chart is actually uh, bearish, so it may go down still. So if you are an intraday, buy will be the right call. But if you are the swing, then sell will be the right call. And I'm not sure about the fundamentals and what's happening behind the Bitcoins or any cryptos. So my analysis is purely based on the what I see on the chart in Ichimoku in price actions. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's a Bitcoin. And uh, hello, Connor. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. That's my Bitcoin analysis. This is still bullish on the daily chart. So buy will be right call. And expect the market breaks resistance. And then Ethereum. Let me check Ethereum now. Starting from the weekly chart, Ethereum is now within the Kumo. And uh, Kumo just twisted bearish. So the topic is whether the market breaks the Kumo or not on the weekly chart. Um, if not, if it, if it doesn't break, then most likely the market retraces back to Kijun Sen on the weekly. So that is my view on the weekly. And uh, in terms of the daily chart, so if I see the potential bullishness on the daily chart, then buy will be right call. But uh, I see the pure range. Uh, Kumo is gradually pointing down. So I can see that more sellers and buyers in the market. Uh, this, this is a bit bearish for me. Uh, we can draw the descending trend line. Like this and this is p wave but uh, it's it's a bearish p wave it's bearish so yeah it may break the p wave bearish so if you can sell i think that will be good but uh i don't see um buying power yet in the market so that is my view on ethereum and let's see, um, Nguyen says, what about VN30? All right, let me check the VN30 now. Uh, let me see. I think I have checked that before, but let me see if I have it here. Oh, there we go. I have it. So here is a weekly chart on VN30. And uh, okay, the market has been ranging. Oh, I think I did an analysis like uh, last year, October, when I was seeing the P wave. The P wave has been broken bullish but afterwards it was ranging so um still the market has been ranging in no direction at the moment so yeah this is there is no trend on the weekly and in the daily chart this is also ranging too this is called um box range there is a support at the same levels and resistance at nearly the same level and this is the box range so in when you see the box range simply we better wait for the breakout towards either direction but at this moment looks like the market will be break the support level because Kumo twist is bearish and Kijun Sen is now turning bearish and at Tenkan Sen below Kijun Sen so I can see that there are more sellers than buyers and it's about to break the support but if you want to buy, you want to wait for the bounce again. And then if the market turns bullish and breaks Kijun Sen, then I think that will be a right buying timing and expect the market breaks bullish. But at this moment, we can't tell which is going right now. Yeah, so let me cover the next one uh, is uh, from Ajit. He says, Euro INR, please check. All right, let me check. Euro INR. I think I've saw that here also before, but let me see. let me see. INR. 
Okay, so here is the weekly chart. Okay, weekly chart is bearish. So you better look for the sell chance. Uh, Senko span B down, A down. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down. And Chikou span below candles. And Kumo is got nice thickness to it. So this is stably bearish in the long term. And with that in mind, if I go down to the daily time frame, let's see if I can find the downtrend on the daily chart. And looks like no. Looks like I don't see a downtrend still. So I think the market continues to be bearish and break support. That will be one of the good timings to sell. Break support level of 83.308 or on the tip of the week here, 82.4, 82.946 level. If it breaks, that will be a good sell, selling, selling edge. Right now it's ranging, so it may go up to the top of the range and go down like this. So yeah, better to wait for the support level breakout and sell will be the scenario. Okay, so I will be ending the live in about 10 minutes. So until the end, let me cover some other comments now. So once again, thank you for joining today on this uh, relaxing Sunday. I hope you had a nice weekend. For me, I was keep resting, basically, because uh, I had a busy week last week. So I took good rest on Saturday and Sunday, and uh, I'm well prepared to trade next week. So let's see. Um, let me check a couple of other comments now. Ace ENT says, Hi K, do you regularly trade Turkish lira or Russian ruble. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. I know ruble is going down, but I don't trade that one. Yeah, because the spread is very high and uh, it's very spiky in the lower time frames. So it doesn't suit my strategy. Val says if the Kumo is thin and closed, closed to each other with direction, does this mean? Retracing, yes, that means overshooting. So it might retrace in that condition on that specific time frame. Further says, how many forex positions have you ever opened during the same trading session? Uh, I would say three at the most. Three positions at the same time is my maximum. Yeah, I make sure that I have, uh, you know, I have. I do not have too many positions. So let's see. All right, good to see you. Thank you for joining, everyone. Let's see. Pratish says, could you please show your Ichimoku setting in TradingView? Because my colors are different in my TradingView. Uh, my Ichimoku setting is default. This, let me show it to you. I use uh, 26, oops, sorry. I use um, 9 for Tenkan Sen 26, Kijun Sen 52 for Tenkan Span B, Displacement 26. So I use all default setting of Ichimoku. And I'm using the default Ichimoku setting. I'm using default Ichimoku indicator in TradingView. If you type Ichimoku, then you can see Ichimoku Cloud, and that's the one that I'm using. Right now. Paul says, uh, in Nikkei 2 to 5, you said it's bullish, but the Kumo is thin down direction. How do we reconcile? Oh, I said Nikkei is bearish. Sorry, Nikkei is bearish, not bullish. Um, yeah, because it broke the support. And now it's going down to the previous resistance level. So this is weekly, this is a daily chart, and this is weekly, and it's, uh, it's bearish. So most likely, the market dropped down to the previous resistance. Here from 2019, it dropped down, and then it bounced back up because Kumo is very thin. And that is my view.
Yeah, Mahardika. Okay, you're leaving. All right. Thank you for joining. Yeah, good to see you here. Yeah, let's see. When you have, when you are free, please start learning the concept of the BTC. BTC profit losses are more than forex and shares. Yeah, I will be studying it. I have studied it already, and I have backtested it. But uh, still, something within me has still doesn't have confidence, and I still feel comfortable trading forex. So I'm still sticking to forex, but. Once I start to trade Bitcoin or any cryptos, then I will let you know. Yeah, I know cryptos are volatile, but uh, it's a bit un unpredictable for myself than Forex. Okay, let's see. John Yuen says, could you give some comments about oil and gas, please? So, WTI oil has been uh, bullish, but now it's retracing backwards. Um, so, here is a weekly, almost very thin. So, I expect this week the market retraces back to the weekly Kijun Sen. And that's the WTI. And in terms of natural gas, let me see. Okay, natural gas has been ranging now. Um, no direction on the weekly. But one thing is that the Chikou span has been tracing the previous candles. So this is bullish. Uh, we can expect the market continues to be bullish as long as Chikou span keeps tracing on the weekly chart. So that's my analysis. Yeah, uh, Shalini says, uh, Kay, kindly share your view on ONGC. I'm not sure ONGC, so let me stick to the things I have on my watch list. Uh, Raju says, Nifty. Yeah, Nifty is now still retracing backwards, and I don't see any bullishness, so we better still hold. We better at least wait for next one week. To see the new trend. Uh, Ricardo says, I've been studying Ichimoku for a month now and I have a pretty good grab of how to use it, but I'd say it's all worthless uh, if it isn't combined with the volume and price action analysis. All right, yeah, price action is very important. Yes, I don't trade by the Ichimoku itself. I always make sure to look at the price action and candlestick situations and lines. Yeah, that is also very important. In Forex, I don't really look at the volumes, but price action, I do it every day. I watch every day on all the time frames. Yeah, so let me see. Oh, Mahardika, you're still there. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so I'm about, I'm about to end the live. In about a few minutes, but let me see. Okay. Chahil says gold, please. Yeah, gold, I have already talked about it, but in case you are new to here, uh, here is gold. On the weekly chart, the market was resisted by the previous resistance from uh, last July. And uh, because Kumo thin, we have some retracement again. So, I expect the market retraces back to Kijun Sen on the weekly. So, this week will be bearish in the short term, is my view. And whenever we see these big spikes, usually the following weeks will be ranging or uh, consolidating. So, I expect uh, this week or next week will be ranging, in my view. Okay, so let me see. Let me check some other comments now. Let me get the... Uh, Trav says, NDD USD, please. All right, let me check the NDD USD and end the live for today. Okay, so here is NDD USD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is a weekly chart. Okay, weekly chart is now... Um, yeah, retracing, retrace back to Kijun Sen now. 
So um, yeah, from here, um, it may be bearish. If the market is below the uh, the Kijun Sen, then downtrend will be continuous. So let me check the daily situation. In the daily chart, uh, this is still it broke the Kumo bullish, but uh, it may be resisted by the previous resistance and support, and um, turn bearish also. But once the market breaks 0 0.6892 level, then uh, that might be bullish. So uh, yeah, until either in either direction happens, we better wait. In this case. Okay, so that covers the whole topics for today. So I will be ending the live for now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's live session also. And thank you so much for your continuous support on my channel and also continuous participation as always. So I hope you get some nice pips this week and uh, I will see you in the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe. And stay gold. Right back for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.